This is the online camera simulator. It allows you to set various settings on the camera and get realistic results based off of this fake setting. Um, it's got some good uh, features. There's uh, one subject moving a little bit and another subject moving quite a bit. So you can get various levels of motion blur. You can also blur or not blur the background. Some settings you can do, you can change the lighting. So I'm going to grab this here, lighting on the left, and put it all the way down to dim indoors. And you can see here, when there's enough light, this is the exposure, and that's normal. This is overexposed one stop, overexposed two stops, underexposed, underexposed. You can see the lighting. Let's put that on mostly sunny. And we can also get closer to the subject. This is us walking closer and walking back. And focal length, which is the zoom on the lens. You can zoom into 55 millimeters, which is your normal lens, or zoom out to a wide angle. We can also put the camera on a tripod, which you'd want to do with slow shutter speeds because of shaking the camera. And then settings. We have aperture priority, where you set the aperture right here. And the camera, you can see, sets the shutter down there based off of what is the right lighting. We can put on shutter priority where you set the shutter and you can see the aperture moving on its own. And then there's the ISO right there where you can set the camera sensitivity to light. And we'll talk more about all these things in other tutorials. So just taking a quick shot, I'm going to set this down to 150th of a second. You click this to activate the shutter and it shows your picture. It even tells you whether or not it was a good shot or not. And you can see in this that we have motion blur because of the slowish shutter speed. And then this returns you to the viewfinder to try it again.